Every year in Ireland they hold Culture Night and that's when a lot of cultural events are held for free for the public um, on one night in the year. And we're taking part in Culture Night in Cork this year. So we're going to open up um, our department our, at the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Sciences to the public, show them what we have in, in, our, in parts of our museum, in our collections, but also show them what we do, what we do for research and what we do day to day, get them involved in the science um, happening in their city. So we have um, taxidermy samples, um, like so, from all over the world. Irish animals, um, Asian animals. Um, we have bones, we have skulls. Um, we also have ge geology exhibits, so of lots of different fossils, um, of different rocks that exist in Ireland, and and um, also of minerals. Um, and then we also have uh, live samples. So we have, we're going to have a snake, a very large boar constrictor. We're going to have um, a bird of prey, a goshawk. Um, and then also lots of plants and other animal samples for people to take a look at, touch and feel, and, and see, what, see what we do here at uh, Bees. <laughs> Really cold if you live in the forest. <laughs> if she doesn't know you're there, it scares her a little bit. That's all. Hmm? <laughs> There'll be um, there'll be lots of plant samples, and we have carnivorous plants. We have a, a, the interesting and the unusual. We have lots of animal samples, and we have live animals, but also um, specimens that came from Charles Darwin's visit of the Galapagos. And we have geology samples. We have fossils to look at. We have our own geology garden, actually, that you can walk around and touch and feel some of the really interesting rocks that have, that uh, exist in Ireland. research is into uh, worm farming or vermicomposting. So every gardener knows that worms are really good for your soil and you can actually use worms also to treat waste because they eat biodegradable material. So we can feed them food waste, animal waste, um, uh, food waste, animal waste and different composts and they eat this waste and they transform it into worm cast. And worm cast is a dark crumbly soil like material that you can add to your plants as a fertiliser and as a soil enhancer. And what I do is I feed the worms lots of different wastes and I take a look and see how those wastes how that worm cast affects plant growth and plant development. So mariponics is when you grow um, fish and vegetables together in one integrated system. And because it's mariponics, it's a seawater system. So you grow seawater fish in a tank, in a bottom tank. And because, the sea, because, of, because they're fish, because of the food that's going in, they're going to excrete a lot of nutrients. And instead of putting that nutrients out into the open ocean, these nutrients can be recirculated onto some, onto some plants that you can grow. And so it reduces, the, uh, it reduces the amount of nutrients you need to grow your plants, but it also reduces the environmental damage of putting um, high nutrient waters out into the ocean. Aaron is, has a very interesting project. He goes out into the ocean and he maps coral development using sonar. Aoife works with ultraviolet light and plants. So she uh, has plants that have been exposed to UV and haven't been exposed to UV. And she looks at, at, the, plant, at the plant growth and plant development. Are the plants smaller? Do they develop slower? Um, do they have any stress chemicals because of their exposure to UV? Uh, for instance, have they kind of been sunburnt? Fergus uses willow to treat wastewater coming from our houses. So he plants willow beds after your septic tank system and they clean the water for you so, so that there's no excess nutrients going into the environment. Martha looks at seal scat and she looks at, and through seal scat she can see the seal diet so she goes through it with a, looking under a microscope and seeing what bones and remains in the seal scat and then she can find out what they're eating. Lucas is from Germany and he came over to study the effects of wood ash on the environment. So he takes wood ash and he, sp and he spreads it on forestry plantations and he looks to see if there's a positive effect on the trees, so positive growth, or if there's a negative effect from the wood ash. 
The School of Biological Earth and Environmental Sciences has numerous degrees in these areas and is a fantastic place for research and study.